All right, so in my journey of just getting better mental health and just feeling better about myself in general, like getting my self-esteem up, getting my self-confidence up, I have been doing some reflecting on the past and I just wanted to figure out why I had such bad self-esteem. I think it all stems down to feeling ugly um, as I was growing up. So mostly in middle school and high school and elementary school, it wasn't really a thing, but like middle school and high school, people start dating and then you start realizing things and that was my phone. People start dating and you start realizing things and then you start to just think like, hmm, why? Are these things not happening for me? AKA not having a boyfriend. So a little backstory. I grew up in the suburbs and I was in elementary school. I was like one of two or three black kids in a class. And already then I just felt it felt like an outsider and also the kids there were not the nicest so because of that I started to become painfully shy like ridiculously shy like whoa and then you go to middle school and high school we get more more diversity praise Jesus I am a millennial so the time period of which I grew up, the time period of me listening to music, watching movies and TV shows, the beauty standard back then was so incredibly toxic. People emphasized weight loss so much. People emphasized being super, super, super skinny, have no hips, have no butt. Like, if you have a curve on you, it better only be your boobs and that's it. Like yeah so that was extremely toxic and of course i grew up plus size so i was literally the complete opposite of that entirely i have i have big boobs i have huge hips my hips were not as big back then but they were still pretty present and i had a belly so that was another thing that was just really weighing down on my self-esteem and the way I saw myself and I was comparing myself to the people I saw on TV. Granted, when I did watch black people on TV, I felt more represented, but of course during that time, it was more just people that did not look like me on TV and from the media I was consuming. It was just not, normal to see me a lot a lot a lot on tv especially on like kids shows and stuff it would just be like one or two sprinkled in but that was about it and that's why i am a true supporter of having like serious diverse casts we we need the diversity like it's needed in front and behind the camera because behind the camera is where things like truly truly begin to change but anyways okay got sidetracked sorry top all that off i would say about 90 percent of the black guys that i went to school with did not want to date a black girl so most of them just wanted to be with white girls and of course that did a number on my self-esteem because i was like dang i don't look like them and i'm not them yeah and you know back then in high school you don't really like think about how you feel about yourself you think about how others feel about you and how others portray you and that is what makes your your own self-esteem granted that that's how it was for me if that's not how it was for you cool great but that's how it was for me so i realized i didn't do like a proper proper ending conclusion as i'm editing this i'm like lord but of course, as you can tell, there was layers to feeling this way about myself and feeling like I was ugly growing up, but I think the main 
thing, as I already said, was seeking outside validation and the outside validation being the source of my self-esteem, which is so crazy to think about because I was ridiculously shy. I didn't really talk to boys that I was interested in or had crushes on because I was too shy and scared and they weren't really coming up to me so I was like dang it must be because I'm ugly so that was another thing and then the beauty standards you know it was just so many things at the time that led to that conclusion that I had that insane conclusion because I was never ugly and I'm not ugly and if you think I am I don't really care okay yeah <laughs> in the midst of all of this self-realization and all that stuff I really had to just think about why I feel this way and I just wanted to share since I feel like other people are on their mental health journey as well or if you're not cool but if you are think about the reasons why you feel this way like what led you to that conclusion about yourself what led you to that conclusion about something else yeah and of course I am not a therapist I am not a doctor I am just doing things on my own right now to just slowly change my mind frame. Granted, now I am confident in how I look. I do not think I am ugly. Do I have days where I think I, where I don't like the way I look? Of course, but that mostly stems from just my acne. We, we, we have to just keep fighting the good fight you know keep doing what you can each day to help yourself and to help yourself feel better about things and just remember to take that time each day for yourself to just unwind to just relax but yeah okay um i just want to share you know you are beautiful you need to think about how you feel about yourself how you feel about yourself is actually what matters no one else's opinions matter at the end of the day yeah, because it's you and it's your life and it's your mind and it's your body. So, yeah. Um, yeah, okay, that's all I had to say. Okay, bye.